Finding guns with sound, WA turned noise into a map. Behind the front, engineers laid a microphone baseline several kilometers long, usually five seven sensors, wired back to a dugout recording station. When an enemy gun fired, the pressure wave reached each microphone at a slightly different time. On a moving paper drum, each sensor scratched a timed mark. Time difference of arrival. Plot the time gaps and you get intersecting hyperbolas. Where they cross is the battery. One blast becomes coordinates for counter-battery fire. Air matters. Sound speed changes with temperature and wind. Crews applied met corrections, so 340 m per s became 340 plus wind along the line, sharpening fixes by hundreds of meters to tens. They fused methods. Flash spotters with theodolites logged muzzle flashes. When smoke or night hid the flash, sound alone still worked. Combined plots made quick, confident targets. Limits? Rolling barrages and echoes could mask a gun. Crews filtered signatures, resectioned the baseline, and averaged repeats to beat the noise. Result, by 1917, the Allies could locate hidden batteries fast enough to silence them. Geometry, discipline, and wire, sound ranging made artillery huntable.